Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to learn how to make disappearing titles in Adobe Premiere Pro. This request came from Live to Lift, um, where I was asked how to recreate this. Now the only difference between that example and the one I'm going to show you is the one um, with the train is it's actually a moving. We're, we're going to avoid that right now and talk about a static shot. The, the, the problem with it moving is we would have to, we basically we have to do that in After Effects. We'd have to track it and then we'd have to copy that motion. Maybe I'll do another one on that. But the motion is, is minimal. It's mostly about how do we make a foreground object look like it's making a title disappear when the title is in the foreground. All right, and this is the example here that I'm gonna show you. The car goes right in front of the words. So if we go back a bit, you can see it looks like those words are in between those two vehicles. And they're not, it's just a mask. So how do we do that? So first of all, I created a title. Now I've got a special uh, tutorial on that so you can find it here. I'll put a link here where I'm using the 3D effect, uh, basic 3D inside Premiere Pro, which has a really poor perspective. So what I've done is I create all of my titles. When I know I'm going to be using the basic 3D, I create everything twice as big. So this title is 4,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels. When I double click on the title and open it up, it doesn't look any different. It just looks like a regular title and, the, and I've created the type here and, and off we go. Okay, I drop that in and you can see this is the basic 3D effect. Uh, that I've got. And I'm going to get rid of my mask right now. So, you know, I dropped the basic 3D in. Th this is where the title is. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm using this distance to image, uh, which helps place it correctly in perspective or as close as possible. We're not using real 3D camera tracking data, which is what you would normally do in After Effects. But the level of complexity when you're doing that kind of stuff is, is well, it's just a heck of a lot harder. Here, we're not gonna have to worry about that. Let's just concentrate on creating this kind of effect. So basic 3D, you go down into um, your effects, choose basic 3D. And what I have going on is a little bit of a swivel. So you just swivel that around, place it where you think it, it works within the type, within the uh, image. Now, I think I had to put a two degree rotate on this. So just minus two degrees on rotate to try to make it work out. All right, so without a mask, this is what it looks like. Obviously the effect doesn't work. It's, um, the title is on top. So to make a mask, I'll select the title layer and twirl down opacity. And in the opacity, you will see three tools. If you don't see these tools, it's time to upgrade. I want the free draw Bezier tool and I'm going to draw around here. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna maximize this and find where that vehicle is. There it is. And I'm going to start about here. It's really the front of the car. that I'm trying to mask this out with. Now once we get below um, this area, it's less of a consideration. Um, as long as the vehicle, they're, they're, the vehicle will get larger. So as this, as the car is driving through the scene, 
the shape of that mask will have to move and it will have to increase a little bit because the car is growing larger as it's getting in, in perspective towards uh, the right hand side of the screen. So now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to zoom all the way out like this. This is the shape that the title is inside. So it hasn't affected the title yet because it, the car is not fake in front of it yet. As soon as it does, uh, then we'll have to fix this. Okay, so. Next up is to make a keyframe. So this mask path needs to have a keyframe. So when I click on there, that's the keyframe. Now it deselects my mask, so I have to go back and select the mask. And as soon as I make a change to the, to the mask, it will add a keyframe. So the cool thing about the, the scroll wheel is I can scroll this ahead. And if you move the mouse in this area here, you can pick this up and move this. And now you'll see it's starting to get rid of the words. Move my scroll wheel ahead, a little bit more. And now you'll notice the bottom. So I'm going to move my mouse over to this area, select these and move them down. So it's a combination of continuing to move this in front. And you can see already I need to edit some of these individual points because they're not completely lining up. So I'll go back a bit. Move the whole thing. I'm being a little anal here on the bottom. I probably don't need to do the bottom stuff because the type isn't hiding under there. And you can see I'm getting more of the front of the car showing, the front of the hood. So I have to keep tweaking that. And admittedly, I would, I would take a little bit more care in doing this, but uh, for demo purposes, I think it's fine. I probably did too many points in here. It's a pretty smooth um, front. So if I had have used fewer points, the bottom I don't worry about anymore. Now you can see why, oh, now the bottom is going to be a problem. Now you see why I went all the way to the top and the bottom, because I'm really scrubbing out that word completely. It's almost like a a wipe transition. All right. Let's deselect our mask, roll back, and preview this. Whoop. There we go. Back a little bit. And I could tweak any of the things that I needed to. But there you go. That's how we create that a uh, fake kind of 3D look with that fake title, a little bit of masking on the title. The, the car hasn't changed at all. It's still the same car file. This is way easier if it's a truck or a train or something with a flat edge, like the original example. That just comes along and, and it's just like you're drawing a straight line. <laughs> Off it goes. Uh, but that's the idea. It's totally fake. You're just um, creating a mask and moving it in time. All right. Live to Lift, hopefully uh, you like this and you can start implementing this in your videos. Uh, if you're new to Video Revealed, 
take a moment and subscribe. If you want to take your support up a notch, join us over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month would help us out a lot. Thanks to everyone who's supported us and giving us great comments. Really warms our heart. We really appreciate it. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.